Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Testing Mini Bytes. I am your friend Amudan Shaktivel. This is part two of your custom annotation series. Okay, so we have already created a custom annotation in our framework and we have started to use it in our framework. But if you remember, we this is not foolproof, right? This has some small issues uh, that we will understand with the real time demo and then we'll try we'll also try to fix that. Okay, so first we'll we have some existing issue while implementing the previous case. I missed to uh, you know follow the package conventions naming conventions. So we'll fix that quickly and then we'll understand. understand why there is a need for enum array to be used with custom annotations then we will create our own enum and then we'll also use the enum annotations uh, enum with annotations right so this is what going to be the agenda for today's topic okay without wasting much time let me move to the eclipse workspace guys if you notice uh, say uh, the first thing okay the com dot annotations uh, should be renamed okay so let me go to refactor and then use com dot uh, the the company name right testing mini bytes is the company name that i want to refactor okay please do this because this is what we have followed across the you know other packages so i missed to do that in a hurry that's okay now we have fixed that now let's see uh, what is the issue with the current implementation okay say i have given this access to them okay what people have done okay what the fellow testers working in my project have done they started to use what of the random values they want to give here okay they are giving something like a login page okay something like this they are giving some weird values okay i don't want them to use all the values they, i want them to select from a predefined set of constants again this is the same thing that we have uh, you know uh, saw in uh, you know long back right we have learned about enum how enum can be a savior for us right so this is the problem the same problem they have started to use some and give some lot of random values that i want that i don't want in the report i want them to use only from a predefined set of constants okay amudan where do you get this how 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 will you know that you know we can restrict them like this okay let me go to the test annotations okay let me go to the test annotation class if you notice they have this enum here okay retention policy this is this is a front time enum right so if i go to this retention policy it's a enum so they are restricting people to select only from these three options okay we going to use the same thing in our framework that's how i learned guys that's how i learned how we can use enum okay i just go through the java test ng classes and then understood how better these developers are writing okay who else is a very good developer than these guys okay so we need to learn a lot from these java documentations okay so I always inculcate the habit of, habit of going in say the docs and see how these guys are coding okay what of the knowledge i am sharing with you guys is all coming from the your java docs and test ng documentation okay good now i want to restrict them to use only predefined set of constants okay then we already have a enum package where i can go and create a new enum okay this time this enum is going to have a category okay the category type okay i want to restrict them to use only certain categories right so here i can give regression okay then i can give them you can use smoke okay then you can use uh, sanity maybe or you can, also you can use a, a mini regression something like this okay you can either use these four values okay you can end it with a semicolon or not that's absolutely your wish but i want them to use only these four values in their code okay now how how we can change our own custom annotation class right previously it was returning string array but this time it should return something else okay let's go to the framework annotation and do the changes this time this category array you know should be of type uh, category type that is a enum right category type again it will ask you to import yes to the import okay now what is telling okay okay i think everything looks fine let me save this errors are still not going so let me close this particular thing and open it again okay now let me go to the amazon test and notice this is not allowing this to be used okay it is asking me to choose only from the predefined set of constants okay now this time i can tell uh, category type dot this belongs to regression as well as this belong to something else category type dot mean regression okay this does not belong to smoke or sanity okay It's all good. Now we have set, you know, we have made users to, you know, we are forcing them to use only from these predefined set of enum values. That's the thing that what we have achieved. Okay. Now 
i have to do the change even in my listen the class right previously we are passing string array but this time see this guy will return a e num array so i'll go here and then change this parameter type to category type category type okay category type now everything looks fine okay now i need to iterate this and then i need to fetch the value from that okay so this is this is this is a, give me a category type right so what i can do i i just want to you know this will give me category type okay category type okay and then e, in each of these i want to convert this stem dot to string sorry guys control is it to string that's it guys now i think all the errors are gone uh, what is this way this is showing error okay what is telling can, can only iterate over array or instance of java dot lang dot iterated okay I, i cannot iterate over this that's okay so what i can do else uh, you know i can use a simple for each loop so categories dot okay sorry guys i have made a mistake okay let me revert everything okay i forgot to give array here okay that's the reason it is not able to do this now it is working fine okay now everything looks fine we have implemented enum with annotations let's check whether this is getting log again guys this will give me a enum type so i'm just converting this to string okay all looks good let's try to run the test create a framework like this guys okay so if someone is giving you some assignment create a framework like this and give it and submit to the interviewer okay they will really get impressed okay these small things like this can impress the interviews right your code will look unique apart from all other you know sub, you know people who are sub, you know submitted for the same position so everything works fine but what we need is it has to log this properly in the report okay if you notice the mini regression and regression it's also getting logged properly so this is what we want to achieve and we have also achieved that right so i think that's all i have to share for today if you guys have a, you know uh, like my channel please do subscribe guys i will see you all in another great video